here in Oman and that it's being held somewhere outside of North America. This is a big part of SPE's mission, is just making sure we're global, one global organization, and being here in Amman, an easy to country, an easy country to get to, uh, great for meetings, pleasant atmosphere. It's just one of those things that makes SPE so unique and so global, as we can join ourselves together in many different parts of the world, understanding a little bit different culture, a little bit different nuance of what we do pretty regularly in a different part of the world. The change of technology, innovation and improvement open up a lot of non-commercial volumes in US. They increase their production double to what they had before. And that was a big motivation to say, how can we bring that technology to the Middle East? And SPE and this event in particular on hydraulic fracturing will enable us to share and learn from the USA on which technology we could apply in our region. The experts here have come from academia, from oil companies, from service companies, from all around the world. And the opportunity in one-on-one uh, -on -one meeting to uh, interact with them, uh, that's a huge plus. But they will also have a chance to pursue their specific track, whether they're interested in case histories or designing fractures, evaluating hydraulic fractures, uh, improving things on the supply chain, lowering costs, whatever it is that as applicable to them in the company, they have an opportunity to see those. I think this conference is important for the region, uh, especially as a, a hydraulic fracturing conference, because uh, a lot of, while well, hydraulic fracturing has been around for 70 years, uh, really in the last 10 to 15 years, it has become at the forefront of the development of a lot of our unconventional reservoirs. And these technologies and this expertise, uh, it, it, in order to help the world needs to be exported across the world and of course this region the Middle East region is uh, very much at the forefront of oil production it always has been uh, oil and gas production and so uh, I think that having it in the region uh, allows two things to happen it allows uh, those in the region to have access to that technology and that expertise but it also allows those who come from other areas uh, that are experts or at least are leading the way in this to see how th things are different as well as how they're the same in the, in the region uh, and how we can better collaborate together.